Welcome to Jazz Time. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so customers like you can choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you like this watch, like this video, would like to buy this watch and you want to buy it at the lowest price anywhere online, simply click on the link in the description below so that you can buy it. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Patek Philippe Reference 5905 dash 1a dash 001 stainless steel green dial it's a flyback chronograph annual calendar i'm going to talk to you guys about the bezel the dial the movement the bracelet try it on and give you my thoughts this watch is the Patek philippe 5905 there's been many different versions of it they released this watch starting in 2015 in platinum we have those all on our website at jazztime.com j-a-z-t-i-m-e.com they made it in platinum and black and also in white gold and blue they also made it in rose gold and brown and now they're making it in stainless steel with this beautiful green dial now this watch has been out since 2015 at least as of making this video it's 2023 so that's eight years I probably this watch is getting close to its end of life cycle. Uh, Paddock is usually doing about 10 to 13 years for the life cycle of one watch. So this is, and the stainless steel is usually is often at the very end of that life cycle. So it's possible that this watch could be just dis getting discontinued quite soon. Who knows exactly? But anyways, if you want to buy it, you can still do so at jazztime.com, J-A-Z-T-I-M-E.com, or click on the link in the description below. Now, let's talk about the dial. This dial is a sunburst green dial. Paddock calls it the olive green sunburst. And the sunburst is, the reason is, if you hold it in different lights, you can see that the dial looks different shades of green in different uh, shades of light. So if you turn it this way, it has one shade. If you turn it in another way, it has another another shade. So it's not just flat green. It's a very beautiful green and green. This was released back in 2022 or 21. I, I oh, sorry, 2021. And green was the hottest color at the time. It's still a very hot color. And, you know, it being on stainless steel gives it a very durable look. So at any rate, the dial is very special for this watch. They don't make so many green dials, so it's very special. Now, the, the hour markers themselves are gold applied hour markers. Now, you might be wondering, you know, why would you spend all that time and effort to make uh, hour markers that are inside the watch gold as, as opposed to steel? I'm not really sure, but if I had to take a guess, I would say that the gold gives it a better shine on the inside of the dial, even though the rest of the watch is made of stainless steel so uh yeah it look i mean it looks really cool these hour markers being gold that is and and of course the hands are actually also gold and if you look at the uh applied hour markers you see the i'm not sure if you noticed this but it's a very nice touch by paddock instead of making the entire dial non-luminescent and just white gold hour markers and hands they actually put these little dots at the end of the hour marker Right, and those dot, it's very nicely put. You can hardly tell unless I, I I notify you of them. Those little dots are actually luminescent, and why would that be important is because that you can see the watch at night, which is actually a practical thing that um, is is quite important. If you wear your watch uh, often, you often wear it at night, and nighttime you need to still be able to read the time. So those hour markers really help. Not all Patek watches have that this watch does which makes it very durable and uh wearable at night and other at other times okay now another thing i want to talk about on this dial is you know paddock used to do dials that had like um you know accent well they, I, I shouldn't say used to they still do on some dials sometimes they put dials that have like accents like red accents or something like that um for example i think it's a 54 I forgot which model it is, but they have accents like the, the second hand might be red or something. But in this situation, on all the 5905s, they make it all flat white. It's just the dial color with the white um, uh, printing. And I think it looks great. It leaves the continuity of the watch. It has a very, very clean look. 
and uh, you, you really can't go wrong with white. Okay, so that's for the dial. Now I should also, um, I'm not going to show you how to use this one in this video because we have other videos on how to set the 5905 flyback chrono annual calendar. I can just tell you these three buttons, if I turn it here, top, middle, bottom, those are to change the day, date, and month. As you can see, the day, Monday through Friday, is on the left. The date, 1 through 31, is in the center. And the month, uh, January through December, is on the right. And those three buttons are the ones that allow it to change. You might be wondering what this little hole in the center of the chronograph is. That is a day and night indicator. At 6 p.m., it turns blue. And from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., it's white signifying daytime and 6 p.m. to 12 uh 6 6 p.m. to uh i guess it was the six oh yeah sorry 6 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. p.m. to a.m. yeah it would be dark as in blue and that would signify night so that's what it is and then this on the right hand side the top button here is the start counter for the chronograph now it's only a 60 minute counter instead of like a 12 hour counter, counter like many other watches and the bottom is a reset. Uh, it's a flyback because you can start the top and let the second hand run. And then you can you don't have to start stop it. You can just simply press the bottom and it will go back to the top. And that's what's called the flyback chrono. Well, is that really helpful? I mean, I don't know. You know, I'm not really even sure how often you use these um, chronographs, but it does look very cool. And Paddock says on their website that it uses what's called a vertical disc clock disc type clutch and essential um okay it uses a vertical disc type clutch which allows the second hand to be permanently running now why that is i really don't know actually i'm not really even sure what a vertical disc clutch type clutch is you probably don't either but it doesn't really matter as you can see there's no second hands running here so what you could do if you like to breathe some life in your watch is just simply let the chronograph hand run and Paddock says that that won't do any harm to the watch because they've engineered it to uh, to do that. Very smart by them. And if you don't want to, just simply stop it. And if you want to start the watch, just hit the bottom button and it'll reset it. And you can start timing. I think it's pretty uh, ingenious. Okay, now let's talk about the movement. Now, the movement, as you can see here, is has a, a, a giant rotor on the back. And that's to power all this stuff. Okay, and the movement is a caliber CH28-520QA24H. Okay, kind of a lot to read, but basically what does it do? It's a chronograph and it's also an annual calendar. Okay, now, I forgot to tell you about another part, the, the, the case actually we should talk about. Now the case is 42 millimeters. That makes it the largest complication. There's only a handful of complications from paddock that are 42 millimeters the pilot watch is one of them this is one of them uh the new world time chronograph steel is one of them i'm trying to think if there's anything else maybe um well i'm not sure but you could go to jazztime.com if you want to buy them now 42 millimeters is a very good size if you're uh let's say a bigger guy or let's say you're over um 160 pounds i would say then 42 millimeters could be uh, could work for you even at 150 pounds you know, let's say your your wrist is like uh seven inches or larger then i think 42 millimeters would would work out quite well for you uh now this watch is kind of a combination okay of uh a few watches if you look at it it has an annual calendar so it's similar uh, Paddock makes a 40 millimeter annual calendar moon phase, which is the 5205. It kind of looks like a mesh between the 5205, which is 40 millimeter, and also the 5960, which was a chronograph. And they kind of squashed them together to make to make a hybrid 5905. Not a bad idea. But what separates this 5905, I think, from those other two, uh, just not just being squashed together, is I think the case is beautifully done. I'll, here's what I want to say about the case. Now, the case is, as I told you, uh, stainless steel. That makes it very durable. They don't make a lot of stainless steel watches. and But but look at the way that the case is done. Look at these edges of the, of the lugs. They're concave. 
that means they go inward. You see this, the edges of the case, when you flip it on its side, the profile, you see how it dips in right there? It dips in on the edge so you can see that uh, you have to carve out the inside of the, the lugs. It's not just flat. And I think that gives it a very beautiful 3D look and it gives it a lot of depth. And on top of that, if you look at the bezel, the bezel is actually also concave. Usually bezels are, are convex, convex meaning out, folding outward, concave meaning folding inward. And that also gives it another depth to it that I think some people overlook. And it's hard to appreciate that with just the pictures. You kind of have to see it and, or at least look at this video. And if you want to appreciate it on your wrist, you can simply go to jazztime.com and buy it. Okay, now I've talked to you guys about all that, the bezel, the dial, the movement, the case. Now let's talk to you about the bracelet. The bracelet here is a stainless steel bracelet. It has a fold over clasp. Let me open the buckle for you. Now it uses the new style uh, deployant. You press these two buttons right here and the bracelet pops open and it shows you this beautiful butterfly clasp. And this is the new style that's used on all the um, buckles or bracelets uh, for Paddock. They pretty much use this one for a lot of stuff like the Nautilus or Aquanaut, etc. And it has, uh, it's nice, it has this filigree, which is part part of their design, or their logo design, okay? And it it once you close it, it looks seamless. You don't really see any kind of buckle that folds over. And once you click it, it boom, it opens. So I think it, I mean, it looks great. And as you can see, what Batek has done is they made the center links high pol or brushed and then made the outer links high polish, which also gives it another, another depth. So it doesn't just look like a shiny watch. Okay. Now, I guess I've talked to you about everything here. So let me try it on my wrist. Now I have a 7.5 inch wrist, an average man's wrist, and as you can see, the watch looks great on me. And let me show you the height. I forgot to tell you about the height. The height is 14 millimeters. It's on the large side, but as you can see, because the lugs kind of slope down, it doesn't look too big. It, it fits flush on my wrist and uh, it wraps around just perfect. Now it's a great watch. I, so if you want to buy this watch, I, go to jazztime.com or click on the link in the description below. My thoughts about this watch are that if you like the classiness of this watch, but you also want to have it a bit sporty. Like if you put it on a leather strap uh, in, in a precious metal, then it becomes a very much like a dress watch, but you can make it more sporty by putting it on the stainless steel watch and wear it every day. So that's, so that really meshes it. I think it's a great watch. And interestingly enough, if you wanted to make it sporty, uh, dressy, you could just simply remove the bracelet and put a leather strap on it and it would look like the platinum version except with a green dial i mean yeah obviously it would be steel but steel and platinum don't look all that much different so you can actually do that so it gives you quite a bit of versatility and it doesn't cost you know as much as a platinum version so anyways those are my thoughts if you like to buy this watch simply go to jazztime.com j-a-z-t-i-m-e.com if you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.